Hey Nina, my name is Erin. I'm from Deaf Digital Marketing and you had spoken with my partner and husband Rob on Facebook. So as promised, I'm shooting you this short video just to give you a few tips on how to help grow your business online. And I will keep this short, but if by the end of the video you can tell that that is certainly something that we specialize in and that's something that you're interested in doing for your business, please reach out to us and we can chat. And if not, no worries. I hope you're able to take these tips I'll give you and put them into action. The only thing I do ask, if you don't mind, would just be to give me some feedback on this video and let me know if it was helpful. But the three things we'll be talking about will be content, citations, and backlinks. So first up is content, and that's anything that you can see on your site here. It does include the words, but also the pictures and what your pictures are saved as. And Google wants to see 1,500 words on the homepage of a website. But within those 1,500 words, that gives you the opportunity to be able to integrate in keywords that people are searching when they're looking for your services. So your website looks fantastic. My only suggestion would just be to get some more content added onto that homepage. Not only do we want to appease Google by having those 1,500 words, but those keywords that I mentioned are also a huge component, and that's going to help out a tremendous amount when you're trying to get ranked. So next thing we'll talk about will be citations, and citations have a lot to do with this section. This is called the map pack, and citations are basically your business name, address, and phone number listed in various directories throughout the web. And when I say directory, I mean things like Facebook, LinkedIn, Yelp, Yellow Pages, really anywhere else that will allow a business to enter those details. So you would want to check out where your competitors are being listed and you want to grab those listings for your business. But then you want to double, triple, quadruple where you're found. So for instance, if your top competitor has 10 directory listings, you want to grab those 10 and then add another 20, 30, 40. That's going to have you completely dominating them in that space, but it does also help you to rank high on the maps here as well. So moving along to backlinks, and backlinks have a lot to do with this section. This is called the organic section, and the way that backlinks work is there is a website out there that has a link to your site, and it's pushing power to your site, but it's also potentially driving traffic to it. But not all backlinks are created equal. So let's say that you did some work for someone who owns an ice cream shop, and they've decided they're going to take a link from their site and push one back to yours but their link is going to be all about ice cream, so it's not gonna be very helpful. You would wanna get links from other companies that really have anything to do with your industry at all. So um, cooking, olive oil, of course, really any kind of, of food um, or restaurant would certainly be something within your industry, and you would want them to send something back to your site, and that will signal to Google that that is the industry that you're in. And because of that, it's gonna be a lot more powerful as well as more unique. And this is one of the tools that I use just so I can give you a visual representation. So currently your site has seven referring domains, which are giving it seven backlinks, getting it found for 40 keywords, and all of that is driving about seven people to your site per month. And now here's one of your top competitors online. So they have 466 referring domains, giving them 2,300 backlinks getting them found for a little over 8,000 keywords, and all of that is driving about 9.2 thousand people to that website, and that's just monthly. So let's take a look at the keywords that they're using here, and hopefully we can kind of get some ideas. So all of these would be great ones to use. Now typically, the two components that you want a keyword to have would be the service or industry, and then a location. Since you are, it uh, looks like selling products from your site, you don't necessarily have to target your location. You can target the entire United States if you'd like, um, because people are simply having to go on your site to actually purchase things from you. Now, if you just had a brick and mortar store that you were selling products out of, you would of course want to target the area that that store is in. Um, but just keep those things in mind when you are working on those keywords. So like, for instance, a good one would be, let's say olive oil gifts, um, California, for example, that would be a good one because it's listing the service or industry, but then it's also listing a specific location. So I will not bore you and have us go through all of these, but I do hope it at least kind of gives you an idea of the types of things that you would want to integrate into your content. And truly in order to beat out your competition, you just want to make sure that you're being found in a lot of the same places they are. Um, but as we spoke about earlier as well, always making sure that you're adding on to that. That way you're far surpassing your competitors because that is the kind of thing that gets you on that first page of Google. 
But that is all that I have for you today, Nina. I do hope that this video was helpful. And if you would like more information about Duff Digital Marketing and how we can help grow your business via your online presence, please contact us. We would love to talk to you. But thank you so much again for your time and you have a great rest of your day.